Yo, what's up guys, it's Nogu here, and we're talking about the brand new mantra, Whirling Blade, and I'm not gonna lie, it is one of the best mantras ever added, and no, I'm not trolling. Thank you to Leaky Duck for helping me get it. It drops from pteropods, and it's called a pteropod shell. Give it to Dr. Diver, and you get it. Using it turns you into slicing blades of wind, and you hit everything in your path, and it can even bypass block due to being somewhat omnidirectional in usage, which you'll see later on. Before I showcase to rest, be sure to like and subscribe for daily uploads so you never miss a video. Getting parried stops the move, but keeps the momentum, which will probably get patched. Me blocked. Parried. And dodge. Shards and log stones work in it, no sparks work on it. Shards effect is unknown, however log stones increase how long it lasts by a decent amount and Max Lock Stones also makes it comparable to Dash. The upside is that you cover more distance, the distance is not scaled with HP, so no matter your HP will always cover the same distance, and you can use gems, so if you use a Bless and you hit someone, in half the time, you can even go even further than Dash, as Dash shares the same cooldown as Whirling Blades, like the cooldown is the same amount. The downside, however, is that since it requires three arrows and three eternals, it is a higher Easter cost. It has a slightly, I mean, it's like, but it has, it has a longer windup, and it does not keep you in the air if you are trying to fly around. However, since it works with gems, it is especially good with Insignia. With Insignia, you can just run onto them and hit them pretty easily since it kind of bypasses block and parry. Use something like Sailor's Beam, and it's almost true. Also with Bloodless, I'm landing a full move, it heals me for around 4% and deals around 7% but keep in mind we both have returned to the Dark Ages. It works in here after uppercut, and it also works in water. What do you guys think? Is this mantra good? I think it's amazing and it's part of my kit now, replacing Thresher Bro, but I might go back to Beast Bro since I no longer have a way to negate fall damage. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.